Welcome to another edition of Court Case. I'm your boy, Professional Sai. I'm your boy, Chris G. Today, we're going to be talking about the rise and the fall of our 49ers. Ah, oh, man. So, what do you think, Chris? Well, I already know what you think. Tell them what you think. Well, we're going to jump right into this? Yeah, we... Uh, well, I know right this is a quick it. hit, so yeah, we might as well jump right into it. The rise and the fall of the 49ers. I mean, when you think about what the past four years has been like mm-hmm. as a 49er fan, They've been great. Yeah. I mean, you know, a return to, to greatness, um, a return to, you know, being a prime time team mm-hmm. on TV, getting, you know, getting, uh, NBC night games against the Patriots and, you know, us against us against the Broncos and then, you know, playing Dallas first week of the season last year, like, you know, but just like prime time stuff and it's over. Yeah. They have fallen. Olympus. Has fallen. It, it just, and they've, and they've fallen in so many different ways. They've fallen because of mainly management, Trent Balky and, uh, Ted York yep. running a coach who brung us to three consecutive NFC games, three consecutive NFC games and a Super Bowl in mm-hmm. a Super Bowl. I mean, who made us relevant with Alex Smith, who I think was overrated, made us relevant with him. And they ran him out of town because I guess they wanted they wanted more credit. They wanted more, mm-hmm. you know, of, listen, we did this. We were, you know, the determining factors and we were the people who, you know, rose the 49ers out of the ashes of, you know, being a sucky team in the NFL. Mm-hmm. And now that they have all the credit and they have all the power, look at them. I mean, Ahmad Brooks now. Um, oh my gosh. What's our Ray McDonald situation? Alden Smith situation. Um, Patrick Willis retires. Yeah. Justin Smith retires. Now, uh, mind you, Navarro Bowman is still not 100%. Na- Navarro Bowman still not 100%. And is and only thing you hear about the 49ers Frank in the Gore, news, what? Frank Gore leaves. He goes to uh, Indianapolis. Um, Michael Crabtree leaves, but good yeah, riddance. Yeah, right. um, yeah, <laughs> but do but we, but we just and then you got the uh, the rookie. What was the rookie that uh, retired? Um, um to my Borland. Borland. Mm-hmm. All of this happened in 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 one year. In one year. We have become a laughing stock in the I, NFL. You know what? We seem like we're like the Oakland Raiders right now. We, we, it just, we're just like Oakland Raiderish. The only good thing that's coming out of this is that kid, uh, what's that? Jared Hain. The, the rugby Rutgers, guy. Yeah, the rugby guy. The rugby guy. That, that is good. But that's I mean, thing, yeah, it, but. as good as, as good as he might be, as good as we want him to be, do you see the 49ers doing any better than Seven and nine? No. Uh, you know, and, and I think that's a stretch. I think seven and nine is a stretch. I got a lot of people who, who are saying, um, you know, 49er fans, you know, and they're real optimistic. And it, it's, a diff- it's a difference between being optimistic and being stupid. Let's be real. We lost not three, four. We lost, like, at least a good nine quality solid players we are st- our stud linebackers all of them are gone yep. retired suspended gone but mark brooks is gonna be able to come back though they said that he's gonna be able to play yeah he's gonna be able to win when is he gonna be able to play they said he's on um he can he can uh participate in football activities as of right now but i, I don't know what's going on um it, it's once again you are seeing the management you know, becoming dickheads because they want all the credit. Like you said, like they want to be the ones who are look at me, watch me. I did this. You did that. Okay. But you know, you don't, I know you hate them, but you don't see the Patriots doing that. Well, you know what? You can say a lot of things about the Patriots, the cheaters. Um, Bill (laughs) Belichick is a cheater. Tom Brady (laughs) is a cheater. Uh, You can say a lot of things about the Patriots and I don't like the Patriots, but one thing you can, the management, they let Bill Belichick, Run the shit. Yep. Even if he cheats, they let him run the shit. <laughs> All right. They let him run it. And you know what that's gotten them? That's gotten them to Super Bowls after Super Bowls. It's got them Super Bowl victories. It's got them being the staple in the AFC. 
that's how you're supposed to. I don't. Robert Robert Kraft doesn't go around look look at me. I'm I'm the architect of this. He doesn't go around. He puts people in place to do a job, and he makes sure that they do their job. The credit's gonna always go back to the general manager. Of and course, owner. exactly. It's gonna always go back. You don't need to have your name in the press all the time. You don't. Yes. And now, this this is where we're at. I mean, as a Niner faithful, I'm not looking forward to 49er football at all this year. I was telling somebody at all. I, I was telling somebody, I was like, I'm not even like prepared to like watch football this season. Like, you know how like when you fuck up in school. And you know when you get home, you got an ass whooping yeah, coming. And you're like, yeah. yo, I don't even want to go home. Like, yeah, but, yo, and everybody talking about going home. Yo, I can't wait. It's Friday. da 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 da, da. But you know that your mom's don't got to work. So she ready. <laughs> she fresh off the slipper. Yeah, she belt, fresh off the belt. That belt is ready. And you like, yo, I don't even want to go home. Yo, let me go to your house real quick. And that's how it is. It's like, okay, well, what are we going to see? Um, I'm not even, like, into it. Like, I joined one fantasy league this year. I'm not even, like, in, like, football mode. But that's also due to like other, you know, external fact like job work and mm-hmm. it's coaching and home and so it's 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 a it's a lot. But hopefully y'all start to like really, you know, churn up as the season starts. But right now I'm on some I don't even want to watch football. Seriously. You know and what I'm excited about when it comes to football this year? Because 'Cause I'm not excited about the forty niners. Mm-hmm. Whatsoever. I, I I really I really I don't want to say I could care less, but I just I don't have the faith in Kaepernick yeah. that Kaepernick could doesn't matter if we have a bad team, you know, Kaepernick is going to see us through. I'm excited about my big money league team, which is called All Cap Time. I'm, I'm excited about, let me give you my starting roster right now. Sure. Let me know how you, how you feel about this. This is a 12 man half point PPR. Okay. Eli Manning, Carlos Hyde, Mark Ingram, Amari Cooper, Julio Jones, Larry Donnell, Alfred Morris, the Lions defense, Steven Hauschka. Let me give you the bench. Muhammad Sanu, Cam Newton, Andre Johnson, Deshaun Jackson, Devontae Freeman, Charles Clay, and um Patterson from um Minnesota. So you got um you got uh Eli over Cam? I believe in Eli this year. You know what? With the the wide receiver core in in New York. Is no question, twenty times better than the receiving core in Carolina. Can, can and listen? I know you're how you right. feel about the Giants, right. but just as a as a as a football fan. as a football yeah. guy, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Odell you're Beckham, right. Victor Cruz, Ruben Randall, um, Larry Donnell, uh, and it's one more guy that they just signed. Uh, uh, was a pretty good receiver. I can't remember, but they got a really really good wide receiver. Um, wide receiver staff i think eli's gonna have a good year but he he has those times just like cam where he could be really really good and then just this 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 bad that you never seen out of a top flight quarterback before i feel that cam does the same thing cam gives you those same games so you know i i can interchange him as you know as they go but but see but the good thing about um, eli having him you know like not standing him but like you said sometimes you got to put your football uh, pride, you know, f- before your um, team love, and one thing with Eli, he's gonna get you points. You know, you you have a lot of other people who you put in. You're like, oh, what are you doing? I.e. Matthew Stafford, and you're like another one of those guys. Exactly. And you're like, what are you doing? But at least with Eli, you know he's gonna actually bring it, um, and he's gonna get you something. So, um, I I I, I can see. But uh, I said all that to say that's what I'm looking forward to because I'm not looking forward to the 49ers. I I, I think it's going to be a really really long, yes. bad season. Um, yeah, I you know what I hope that we, I hope that if we doing bad, I hope we don't make the playoffs. Like I don't want to like prolong it till like you know we like have those games where we're like yeah. yeah yeah oh we made the playoffs but it's like but you know that's going what we're not going to we can't anymore. compete yeah we like, just can't compete. I hope that I'm wrong. I really hope I'm Kaepernick wrong. would have to really make a jump to like a superstar level for us to one, make the playoffs and two be contenders. If they like cap run his offense, run that pistol. Um, I don't really got faith in if he does that. I, I'm not going to lie. I think, so. you know what, if they, I'm not if gonna they lie. you know what, I think after last year, he like, Oh shoot, people caught, you know, caught on to me. I know what I got to do. 
if he's consistent, if he run his offense and play his game, I think we might be a little bit satisfied. However, I'm still not really sold on it. Don't I'm, be I'm surprised still... if the Kaepernick era comes to an end after this year. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm Don't not. Don't be surprised. You know what? I'm not because he, he, we need to, you know, step up because 49ers, like, we don't, we don't have time to waste. Like, we, like, we had the team. You know what it's like? It's like you make that perfect snowball. And like, yo, I'm going to use this. I'm about to pile some mind and faith. The first one was good. Second one was good. Third one was, uh. And it's like, now the sun coming out. So yeah, you you're like, right, you're so right. you like, oh my god! Like, all right, well, let me hurt me get as much snow as I can, and then it melts, and it's like, yo, I can't even get a perfect snowball, no. and that's what that's what basically happened when everybody left. So now we got that snowball. It's like my hand is soaking wet, but I still can do a little something. But I just hope that I don't tear nothing in my arm while I'm doing it. You know, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a trying season and. It's um it's a shame that a team that was such on it was not it wasn't just on the rise. The 49ers weren't on the rise. That they were there. Mm-hmm. They were a uh, staple in the top teams in the NFL. And for them to fall so hard, so fast, is you know, as a Niner fan going through any real Niner fan that's been a Niner fan for a long time, oh, oh right? God. Going through the two thousands. I mean, we went through a legit ten years. Yes, we were like the Jews. You know what I mean? We went through like we were walking through the desert, man. We we didn't have nothing after we lost Jeff Garcia and after we lost T.O. T.O. I mean, we were just bad, just bad, bad. So, um, and, and then you know we just went through just you know bad pick after bad pick, and then we started to build this team. We sucked. We did suck, but we started to slowly, slowly build this team. And then we had arrived, you know, um, Harbaugh, it came. He had turned this, he had turned the franchise around. We were here. You know what? I think it started with, um, Singletary. And I think it kind of started with Nolan defense wise because we always had a solid defense from 2005 and up. Yeah. We always had a but solid offense. Defense. We, it was like, no. I mean, Frank Gore, he was just like, oh, well, Frank, on. that's what we had. Yeah. This is our office was Frank Gore. Yep. And that was it. And then Vernon Davis came and he, he and helped. Vernon Davis, too. you know, Vernon Davis is a, you know what? I feel like he is, he has so much potential that he never tapped. And I, he it might be a little too late for him now, but, um, you know, a guy who runs a faster 40 time than any tight end who's got hands like he has it is a huge drop off from Gronk. And Jimmy Graham to the next tight end, he should be in that category. I think he's he was, that good, but he's not. He was up there though. If he if you look at it, he had like two or three year run. But I think that injuries. But I'm, right now, he should, he's he's as good uh, physically as those guys. I mean, and but you got to remember not that. Anymore. But you got to remember um, his favorite quarterback was Alex Smith. Alex Smith. So Alex Smith was hitting him because Alex Smith plays safe. Cat wants to go deep, so he wasn't really getting that. I think that he should have been in the um, he should have been on wide a little more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, getting physical. You know, more crossing routes. You talk about uh, Vernon. Yeah, Vernon. Yeah. Oh, I think they should have always used Vernon like they use a Jimmy, um, Jimmy Graham, or how they use um, Grant. Mm-hmm. You know, split him out. I mean, he's that. He's that tall. He's that athletic. He's that fast to you know utilize him in other packages to get him just to get him the ball in space. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, it's the smart thing to do. It wasn't done with him. Um, some his fault, some not his fault. But it just all kind of adds into the topic of today, which is, you know, just the rise and the fall of the 49ers. And, um, you know, it's just, it's got to be a sad day in the Bay, and it's a sad day here today. I like that sad day in the Bay and sad day here today. It's, it's, I, I, I was right off the top of the door. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's up, man. We got trademark that. But I really don't know. I, I don't have no hope. Like you said, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I just hope that we can actually get something. So I, seven and nine would be okay. <laughs> Which is sad. I don't, that's the thing. That's I, sad. I, I don't even think seven. I don't even think we're the second best team in our division. No, nah, hell no. I don't. You know what? No. We might be the worst. St. Louis is on, on the paper. rise on, on the paper. St. Louis is on the rise. Obviously, Seattle's number one, and I think no question, Arizona's number two. Yeah. It's a battle between us and St. Louis, and you know what? 
I don't know if we can win that battle. I don't know because we haven't really went into St. Louis or they came to us and we really done damage. Like no. we, it, I remember not it, since it, Alex Smith lit him up on that Monday night game where, ah uh, oh, man, that Monday night game where uh, the last game before he got hurt and Kaepernick took over when he was on that run where he had like seventeen TDs and like okay, one yeah. interception or something like that. Like he was tearing it up. I remember we that. went in there and we like beat him by like thirty or something like that. No. no, no. The next next couple of games happen to be the draw. We got the tie with them. Yeah, the cap exactly. took over. Then we beat them in St. Louis, and then the next week, then the next couple of weeks, they beat us in yeah. San Fran uh-huh. on the Kaepernick fumble. Yeah. And I, again, like I said, and that's St. Louis, and I know we're not on the Cardinals level, and God knows, I'm, I, I don't even want to see us play the Seahawks. No. Please, God, don't make me watch. 49ers up in Seattle. Please. Uh, ooh, I just got chill. <laughs> I, that's all you I said got. It all. That's yeah, all I, I got. mean, you said it all. So, what is your um, season and then uh, prediction? What, what do you think record wise? Um, five and eleven. Damn. I said seven and. Uh, I want to see. I want to say seven and nine. Before you, I want to say seven and nine, but I think that seven and nine is the absolute best they can do. The absolute best that the Forty ers can do is seven and nine. I, I, so you know they're gonna drop some gimmies. So I gotta go five and eleven. I mean, I think six and ten. I thought about it. Let's let's. Let's kind of look at their, um, let's kind of look at their schedule and see who they have. That I mean, that's actually you know, like okay. Well, maybe we can actually pull something off. Here we go. So we have for the full schedule, we have the Vikings. Uh, I said, see, that's one of those, uh, one of those, uh, what do you call those flip games right there? It can go either way. Steelers. That's an L. At the Steelers. At the Cardinals. That's an L. Bronc, uh, Packers. That's an L. The Giants. That's a flip game. Ravens. L. That's a flip game. L. If it was a playoff game, that's a flip game. Seahawks. L. The Rams. Flip. The Falcons. W. Seahawks again. L. Cardinals. L. Bears. W. I think, yo, I, I think this stretch we got, and then we got the Browns. W. The Bengals, Lions, Flip. and the Rams. So, with that being said, what, what what did it look like? What was the second to last game? Uh, it was the the Lions. I think we could beat the Lions. Flip. And, um, the, and the Rams. I got that okay. flip. So I got definite one, two. I got a definite three Ws. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. I got a definite. I got a definite seven losses. Okay. I got a definite seven losses. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six flip games. I got six flip games. So they win all they flip games. They nine and seven. (laughs) They nine and seven. They win all they flip games. I'm telling you a hundred percent. Um, they're losing all the games I got an L for. So if you could run that down for me one more time. Um, Vikings, I got as a flip. Mm-hmm. The next game is the next game is um, the Steelers. They're definitely lo- they're definitely losing that one. Cardinals. They're definitely losing. Packers. They're definitely losing. So you said we're gonna start at one and four. One I mean, and one, four. One and three. We're gonna start up well. Oh possibly. yeah, and then the Giants too. So I got out of our first one, two, three, four, five games, I got three definite losses and two flips. Okay. And then you want me to just keep going down? No, nah, that's okay. – I think that pretty much says it all. Oh, wow. I okay. think that pretty much says it all. So, we got – Seven and nine. Seven and nine. Uh, seven and nine. Over, under, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can do that means we got to win every flip game, man. Every flip so game. So, we can be nine and seven and possibly make the playoff. Possibly. Dang. But we got a definite seven losses. A Definite seven losses. Well, if we lose, oh well. GMs, 
owner, that's what your ass get. I'm gonna get fired. You better hope that I'm a 49 fan after this one. You will be. So yeah, I know. I know. It just it just made me feel better. Yeah. Made me feel better. So that's all I got, Chris. That's all I got, man. All right, man. Until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.